Hello and welcome to this video of Beam Tutorial Series where we'll be looking at the, our first Beam Pipeline, the word count example. Uh, with this example uh, you'll be able to actually run, uh, implement your own pipeline and then run it so that you have some concrete idea about the concepts that we learned in the previous video. So I have already prepared a Maven project um, here and in the POM file as the dependencies uh, we have these two so first I've defined the beam version as 2.11 and then I've added these two dependencies uh, beam SDKs Java core which is necessary and then the runner the direct runner and the scope of this uh, dependencies as for the runtime so these only these two are necessary for now and we can get started so I've already created this class here with the main function um, as for the input of this file uh, because we'll be doing the word count I have already created this sample um, text file with a few lines here just copied the text from the documentation of Apache Beam so this is this will be our input file and we'll be counting uh, how many times each word, each word occur so this is the input file next now the first thing that we need to do is create a pipeline and then use the create our transforms uh, so that the pipeline can execute those so first thing what we need to do is uh, pipeline.create and this create function needs this pipeline option so options pipeline so how do we create the options is um, using pipeline options 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 from factory dot create for now there are nothing there's nothing in this options thing uh, but we could uh, there are a lot of uh, other possibilities but in this video we won't go into them so using the options we create the pipeline then just before I forget pipeline dot wait until finish so we created the pipeline then we need to um, apply the transforms uh, to this pipeline and then finally we have to tell bean to run this pipeline using the run unless you call this dot run function it won't run and if you are running locally in the in your development machine then you also need to call this wait until finish otherwise the JVM will just um, shut down as soon as this run is executed and your pipeline won't get executed at all so you have to wait until the whole pipeline is finished so for this word count what we need to do is read from text file then split um, split each line into words then count the number of times each word occur what is the spelling? Well, ah, whatever occur <laughs> so read from text file so what we need to do is use pipeline and then in beam everything is um, you call this apply function and there are two uh, two overloads of this one you can pass the name as well as uh, the transform that you want to execute another one is just um, pass the transform so here we'll say read from file then now we need to pass in the transform that we need uh, we want to apply so this will be the uh, thing that the pipeline executes so here we need to read so we'll use text io it's a built-in 
uh, IO transform in Beam. So you, we can use text IO. There are a lot of other options here. So we just call this read and then from and we need to specify the file pattern. So this would be word count input.txt. So what this does is it reads the file line by line and it creates a P collection of string. So let's call this P collection lines. So every string in this collection is a line in, the, in our uh, input. So <coughs> now we need to um, split the line into words. So here we'll just use a simple um, splitter uh, based on space. So we'll use the space as a separator. So what uh, now we have to apply because we want to extract something different from these lines. Now we need to apply the transform into the P collection into this lines P collection. So lines dot apply. Now what we want to do is there is a built-in transform called map elements. Basically, it's a map. Um, that you call on Java as well as in functional programs, many other languages that maps input to an output. So map elements, the this uh, this transform signature is it takes a type of input T and produces a type of output T. They could be same, they could be different types, it doesn't matter. So lines should apply map elements and using this function here. And then here we have to uh, we can pass either this simple function or uh, inferable function whatever but we'll just use new simple function so this function will take uh, the input is string and the output will be a list of string So if we look at the simple function, it's it extends this inferable function and this function goes through all this hierarchy. So this one, it's just uh, you you have to use this simple function when you you are using the map elements. Map elements is a transform that is a shorthand when you want to produce one output for one input there are different ways like uh, we could produce multiple outputs from a single element as well or we could not produce any output at all for that particular element but, uh, that is using a different transform but this map elements is um, used when you want to produce exactly one output for one input so here in our case uh, for the string input that means a line in our P collection of lines will return as list input will split by space so for one input line we produce an output that contains a list of words so this will be P collection of list of string and let's call this uh, words per line for now but to count the, the the words we need to flatten this so instead of having a collection of another collection we just need a collection so we want to get rid of the inner collection that we have and beam also already has this built-in for uh, transform called flatten so we can use that one to words per line. So for this transform, uh, sorry, this P collection of list of string, we'll apply this flatten dot iterables. We get there are two different versions of flatten, so uh, forget about the other. So here we can use flatten dot iterables, and it will just give us P collection of string now. So let's just call this words. So now we have uh, we went from collection of collection to
to uh, flatten just your collection and now we can use the words uh, p collection and then count the number of words so there's also another we'll be using another um, built-in transform called count so here words dot apply then count then there are a lot of other there are different things but here we're interested in per element so what this produces is a key value where key is the word and the value is uh, I think a long uh, that that basically uh, counts how many times the element occurred in the whole P collection so key value so this one would be word count so every uh, word and this the value is the number of times it occurred in the data set so now we want to write this out into some file so what we have to do is uh, convert the key value into some string and then write that string uh, using this text io dot write to write to some file so here we'll do word count dot apply then we'll again use the map elements because we want to convert each element into uh, exactly one output so the input would be key value and output would be a string so map elements via new simple function and then the input type is key value of string and long and then the output is just a string and return string dot format uh, let's just do this then the input dot get key is our word and then input dot get value is the count and this one as you already guess is a p collection of string so instead of uh, writing finding a new name for every collection we can just chain the apply command so here we can uh, now use the text io dot write dot to word count output so basically it will uh, for in each line it will have um, the word then this arrow and the number of times it occurred and that will be our output so basically this is the whole word, word count example let's run it so now the process is finished we can see it produced three different files because this P collection can be used and this uh, pipeline could be running on multiple machine um, this write to we, uh, will produce like different files so this one you have to uh, deal with that but here it will say that how, how word count output is the this is the prefix that we file name prefix as you can see prefix and it will have the, the sequence number so you can know how many files are there like out of 003 or something so let's look at the output so set was it occurred two times open transform one flink and comma because our tokenizer was not so good we just split it using the space so it's pretty bad but and here's the space I think this is space or and in these files as well the is probably the frequent one embarrassingly So this is this is it a simple uh, beam pipeline uh, that we ran. So create a pipeline using pipe, uh, some options. We'll uh, in the future videos we'll look at uh, different things that we can uh, use in this pipeline options. So we created the pipeline. Then our first transform was um, 
to read using this if we look at the text IO and then um, read this read is a uh, it extends this P transform so basically it's a P transform and and this P trans uh, as we know that P transform takes some input and produces some output but in this case because we are reading from the file there is no input exactly so there's this special uh, type called p begin uh, so that's why we have to use in this pipeline dot apply if you look at the the signature of this apply in pipeline it has to it can only accept the transforms that um, where the input type is just p begin like you can't apply for example flatten dot iterables transform in pipeline dot apply because the the, mm, the signature is different for this one because this uh, I'm not sure if this is exactly the one p collections okay never mind so one thing to notice is if you want to apply some transforms into the pipeline itself then the transform has uh, needs to have p begin as the first uh, first type so in this case uh, this text io dot read uh, read has this p begin and for others for others for example in the p collection the transforms that you apply in the p collections they can't have this p begin like they need to have the same um, type as the, the p collection that it has at least the first uh, data type the output that the transform produces can be completely different or even same here we took uh, a p collection of string and produced something different a list of string so could be different but that is one thing to keep in mind that um, the transforms that you apply to a collection or a pipeline uh, depends like so when reading we use text IO read then we apply our sequence of um, transforms uh, so all of them the built-in transform and also like uh, we named our first transform here read from the file you could name every uh, application of this transform in this apply function and give it some name uh, some of the runners like uh, data flow runner they will display this uh, this string in a in a node so it's quite easier to uh, visualize at the graph of your pipeline and then yeah and finally we uh, after we have the words and their counts we use the, again the text io transform to uh, write it to the output then we ran it we waited until it finished so this is it so see you in the next video we'll, we will make uh, create some some interesting task how to process tweets and and then uh, define some of the complicated uh, pipelines and uh, get through uh, go through the pipeline options as well so see you in the next video